What's up everybody? You're here with the Fly Guy. Today we're going to be tying a really simple trout pattern. Uh, this pattern is a caddis imitation. The glass caddis will help you get down in swift deep water and it will also help you in a still water situation as well if you need to get down to some deeper fish. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I've got the glass beads already threaded on the hook. Today in this video, I'm using a size 12 caddis hook by Mustad. I've got four green glass beads, one brown and one black, and uh, they are 11 aught glass beads that you can easily find at almost any craft store. Michaels, Pat Catans, uh, Joanne Fabrics, you can find these almost anywhere. Secure your hook in the vise as I have it shown here, and attach your thread in the center of the hook bend, just behind the green glass beads. Start building a small thread dam, and this will ensure that those glass beads don't move during fishing. Go ahead and apply a small drop of super glue, and then make several wraps to finish your thread dam. Pull down a little bit, cut your thread, and you're done with the back of the fly. If you have any frayed ends after cutting your thread, you can just make a couple quick passes with a lighter and those will be gone. Now your fly is practically done. I used olive thread on the back. Now I'm gonna use a black 70 denier thread. I suggest using a thin thread because you need to make sure that you don't build up bulk too quickly. Uh, you're going to use that black thread and you're just going to put a very small amount of black dubbing of your choice and fill in the gap between the black and the brown bead. This will lock the beads in place and it'll finish the fly nicely. As you can see this fly is pretty quick and easy to tie and if you want to make it just a little bit faster you can prep the beads on the hooks before you start tying. That'll just make it a little bit quicker for you, especially if you're tying, you know, six to a dozen of this pattern. I hope you enjoyed this fly, and I hope it gets you into some more trout and steelhead in situations where you need a fly just to get down a little bit farther. As always, with any fly tying demo that I do, I always post the recipe on my blog at tfgflies.com. If you're not a fly tire and you want to get this pattern, you can also go uh, to my website and the glass caddis will be under trout flies. If you like this video, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take care and we'll catch you next time.